it's me again. It's been a long time without being here. But today, I just have a special topic. Yeah, don't get bothered with this jazz. I'm not a Tottenham fan. It's just the best black jazz I can get now. So today, I want to talk about the lenses that I've been using making my videos. Earlier in this channel, about, I mean, for like 20 videos, the 21st videos that I've been uploading in the YouTube, I've been using my phone. A Sony Xperia Z1 because it's very it's a very old phone but I just loved it the way it is it is 20 megapixel with aperture of 2 that's the lowest stop it has but I just like the way it took the videos as you can see I can show you some clips here or oh, yeah or oh, you can just check them on, on my channel the previous videos but it's good Say I didn't like the way the colors are, the structures, I mean the pictures appear to be more flat. So I decided to switch to DSLR cameras, where well, I'm just a fan of Nikon, you know. I don't know why, but I just love the colors it gives out. So the lenses that I've been using, the first lens is that which came with the camera, is the stock lens. It's just a... 18 to 55 millimeter the lens is good although it have a plastic mount but i don't have any problem with that so far today it, it has been a year since i own this one so that is good of course it have a vibration reduction and it is afp silent wave focusing mode it is very silent even if i'm using it with a with a video you can't hear any noises from it when i'm using auto focusing of course I just love it. Of course, it take good pictures. I can show you some of them. Of course, I think I have just retouched them some, but yeah, they are good. But still, I didn't want to use this anymore because I can. I was just using it for some wide angle. I can say wide angle at 18 millimeters, but when I zoomed in, you know, the aperture is so small at 5.6. I can't have any more light in it so i just bought another one the another lens which i just use it a little more just a 50 millimeter this is a is a manual lens of course as, as you can see it's just a manual it's have a mechanical aperture controlling and it's have a mechanical mount i mean it, sorry not mechanical i mean it's have a metal mount which is very good i, I only use this one in video making as you can see it's 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 very small it's good it's just a it's 50 millimeter at 1.8 it's very I, I think i can show you the the way aperture can open this at at i mean at at 1.8 you can see the eye is very big but yeah and 22 is the lowest one you can't see anything probably so I've been using this for some videos, mainly videos and some pictures for a time. Although it, it gave me a hard time because I'm using a DX body and this is just a full frame camera, a full frame lens. So I'm just a, every time I have to take a picture, I have to focus it manually. Like, wait, you can take this, wait, wait. You know, it's boring. So I just have to, to find something, an alternative of it, which is 35 millimeter. 1.8 g the lens that i'm currently shooting this video i can show you some i just i did unbox it like on june yes i didn't give any review on hand review but the lens is very good i've been shooting some videos with the african reaction as you can see some videos there yeah i can't say it anymore but you can see by yourself yeah the lens gives sharp images with very good colors i just love it you know oh i almost break this one <laughs> so these are just lenses that i'm using i think next time i'll show you the youtube setup i have here but just to keep you guys alive in my channel just don't leave i get i have many things to come so just pay attention you know i'm busy making videos with african reaction and myself so we're just we're just like cooperating to get over this youtube things but i'm sure i'm doing it so stay tuned never leave our channel
Yo, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share this to your friends. You know, never know where you'll meet.